Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Manny has seen his fair share of infighting against him through the years, and he's getting a dose of it tonight. Well, that's a smart way to go with a guy like so that, fast. Like we that. forget about the speed of Manny. That might be greater than his power in some dimensions. And when you're inside, you can use your physicality and take away the speed a little bit. He clinches when he gets <laughs> to the inside. Bam Bam's blocking ability is doing well for him there. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. And he engages in the clinch. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. What impact from that uppercut by Bam Bam. Halfway through round number one. Pacquiao's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. blocks that punch back and forth exchange a solid uppercut by Manny Pacquiao oh that's good stuff firing right back with one of his own good work by Bam Bam oh he just misses with that headshot wow is he defensively sound that's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Manny Pacquiao. That is just supreme skill by Manny Pacquiao there. He had the block on one end, counters back and scores on his own. The way these two are going at it early on, they're gonna break the punch stat computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Manny Pacquiao's commitment to the cause of being the aggressor really had him in front in that last round. Look at his opponent. You're looking good, looking good. He's tired, look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Here we go, round two is underway. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Manny Pacquiao. Bam Bam's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Clean shot with the right. Bam Bam's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. There have been very few athletes who have ever captured their country's attention quite the way Manny Pacquiao has captured his native land and the people of the Philippines. This is a place that has gone through some tough times, but now they get to have such pride knowing that Manny Pacquiao is one of theirs. Well, that's the great thing about boxing. You can identify with an individual. It's not a whole team. 
and you can attach yourself to that individual. And when you have a country that has problems as far as poverty, people that are good people that are trying to make it, they latch on to a hero. They latch on to a conqueror like Manny. If Manny can do it, we can do it. History has shown that for years that boxing will sometimes just drag people along, pull people along. Nice work with the overhand right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Keep working the job. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. What power from that left hand to Pacquiao. And this round comes to an end. Manny Pacquiao is probably sitting back right now saying, hey, I got everything figured out. Coming off of a sensational round you just saw, he was able to do some serious damage to his opponent. Yeah, you know what really did it was that left hook to the liver, that body shot. You know, that's like going into a restaurant, you get a stain on your jacket, you know, and the stain just doesn't come out. <laughs> you know, you go to your cleaners, it's still there. Those body shots, they don't come out. They stay with you round after round, and they keep doing damage. They keep paying off for you. He's got the benefit of that body work on for him. And round number three is underway. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good flush shot by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's punch didn't come close. <laughs> Manny Pacquiao started at 106 pounds and then rose up and won a super bantamweight belt, but it really wasn't until November of 2003 when he claimed the featherweight title and TKOing Marco Antonio Barrera that he became that big spotlight kind of star. Yeah, that was his coming out party, so to speak. That's when the world found out just who and what Manny Pacquiao was. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Blocks that belt line well. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisp. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A headshot blocked. And a well-placed counter by Manny Pacquiao. Able to cover up that gut. I like what I see out of Manny Pacquiao right now. This is it right here. This is the way he should be defensively. You see the Pac-Man. He's got that nice, tight defense. He's not letting anybody get inside there.
Manny able to block that. Final 10 seconds. This is turning into a wasted effort here as we reflect on the first three rounds and get a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Yes, he's throwing punches, but nothing's landing clean. He's down on your scorecard, three zips. He's wide open every time he slows, and he's getting caught counted, especially that right hand, right up the middle. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Keep moves, keep moving. Nice block by Manny Pacquiao. Really frustrating his opponent now. Manny Pacquiao is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Move your head. Get close. And he ties up on the inside. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Come on, get focus. Focus. Bam Bam swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. A small punch. He ties up there. He missed with that headshot. was well off the mark. Good job protecting himself. Keep it tight. Stay away from those. Come on. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength 
so to be able to weigh you down and to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away, keep chipping. Come on, Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counter punch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. hook over but couldn't turn it into a connect what a great job he gave one right back in return nice work by Bam Bam how about that left hand defensively by Manny Pacquiao. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He just missed that shot up top. Defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Manny Pacquiao's given us a good showcase of defense here tonight, especially up top. His head movement is just sublime. And his opponent's cooperating with him a little bit because he's getting frustrated. He's looking for that big shot, and he's continuing to miss. He's making no adjustments. A guy's moving his head. You know what you want to do a little bit? What's that? Well, you want to feign him a little bit. Make him make a premature move. And then when he moves to either side, then you time him with a punch. Don't just go out there flailing away. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And that's the end of round five. Pacquiao's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. I need to pull ahead. This fight is too close. I need you to double up the jam. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. And he just holds on there. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. He's getting hit a ton now. He needs to add some defense to his game. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Pacquiao's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. There it is! 
Well, they describe Pacquiao as a risk-reward fighter. He didn't get the reward that time. He took the risk, and it got to him. One, two, three, four, five. So Manny Pacquiao, he goes down, and now he rises up to move on. Now he's going to have to show that he can be smart. We know he can be tough. We know that he can be exciting. Can he be smart enough? It's a big, big shot he just scored with. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. The fight is over. Manny Pacquiao's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, you're...